so how we can implement this local dev server and you can you know that is the most important and this is my favorite feature in winter 25 for this local dev so let me tell you what is local dev okay so local dev and develop lwc faster with the local dev server so it is now available in winter 25 sandboxes and scratch org for now so it is only applicable for the sandbox and the scratch org as of now it's allowed to preview your lwc instance or instantly as your code there is no need to refresh your page reload something like that right we use hot module loading and webhooks to let you local preview of your lwc or lwr sites or mobile experience or any experience sites okay so we have some prerequisites to implement this feature so first of all you have to you know install this plugin using this command as a plugin install at salesforce slash plugin hyphen lightning hyphen dev this is the plugin you have to install using your salesforce cli i will show you how we can install it and how we can configure it here second is like for scratch or this is for sandbox you have to install this is the common for you know all the scratches or or you know sandbox but for the scratch or for the specific scratch or under the config uh, we have file that is project hyphen scratch hyphen definition file right this is the json file under this file you have to enable this property that is enable lightning preview pre brief and colon true so you have to make it this you know property as a true and after that you can run your server using sf lightning dev app right now i'm using lwc component so i can preview in my lightning app builder page this one so how we can see this let me show you the example in our oh okay so this is my vs code so i already enabled this property here you can see this is the property you have to enable it under config folder and this you know project scratch definition file after that this is for scratch org okay this is for scratch org if you want to preview this uh, you know local dev in scratch org you have to enable this property otherwise you can use directly using sandboxes because right now i'm using free developer account i already created this scratch org that's why i will show you this demo you can use any sandbox as you have okay it's up to you after that you have to open your terminal so under this terminal let me add one another terminal so under this terminal you have to install the plugin so plugin is very simple to install it so this is a prerequisite step like sf plugin and this is the plugin name so you have to install this one so this is the command first of all this is a prerequisite okay so you have to install this plugin after that you can install and uh, once you install it and you have to create your you know lwc component so how we can create that very simple i already created one lwc component okay so js you can see that this file that is my component here local dev demo and js file don't have anything in the html i have added like a lightning card only you can see and under the config file i just make the changes into the api version because right now i'm using api version and after that i, I can use this page inside my record page app page home page it's up to you but uh, as of now i'm using only three targets here and uh, after that you have to do one thing how we can preview this component okay so let me show you how we can check this locally okay so before that we have some you know prerequisite or we can say that uh, one point remember it if you are using local day preview right so it's not reflecting the, into the your actual org it's only for your virtual org i would say that like uh, it's only virtual org like local dev preview if you need that kind of changes in both environment you have to deploy your changes using asset project deploy start command okay so first of all i, I will tell you the locally and then we will see in the our org so now i already executed the command that is sf lightning you know dev app here you can see after that you can see the preview so here now this is my org scratch org and this is my virtual org you can see the url as well in the sort url that is the scratch org and this is the local org you can see the url is very longer right so this is the local dev org so once you change something inside this org that is local dev okay so it's automatic reflected here but it's not reflected into the actual org 
so i will tell you the reason is okay so now let me change something in the style let's say i want to make this you know like card body to let's say this is my local dev server something like that once you ch uh, change something inside your file just you have to save your file and immediately the changes will be reflect inside your you know local dev you can see this is my local dev it's automatic reflected here please observe here i already changed the body that's why you can see the body is already changed or side by side let me tell you the how we can use this okay so now so here you can see the side by side okay so i already changed this this is my you know local dev server that's why you can see the local dev server and also i want to change this hello one so how we can change you can change let's say hello uh, let's say local dev and you have to do one thing just control s immediately you can see local dev is already changed so please observe if anything is changing into the title body or you know footer is automatic reflect here without any deploying single line of code okay so here you can see everything is changes by line by line here right so that is local dev here so let me change anything or let me and also please remember this local dev only work for you know uh, three files as of now like css html and javascript right now we are doing into the you know html file here okay if you need let's say i want to add one h1 and this is heading something like that and now let me add the slds under the slds let's say uh, text heading uh, i can use like heading large let me save this immediately you can see this is heading so you say a uh, few of seconds like one second or milliseconds is automatic reflect in my component that is a local dev right no need worry about to deploy your you know component right click and deploy source to org like that or any you know configure as you have in your vs code like control s and deploy to source for so right so no need this is the local dev in winter 25 okay but but i will tell you the all the files here uh, this is the html let me change this you know changes into the js file and let's see it's automatic reflected or not let me create the one variable or one property that is greeting okay that is greeting welcome to local dev server something like that okay just let me save this file and now let me copy this one and paste it inside here in the body or we can say that body yep or in the heading I, I can use this property inside my you know body once you make the changes inside the your file control s immediately you can see welcome to local dev server it is coming from js to html here you can see right because grating is a property inside my js you can see this one that's why i just use that property grating into my you know html and it's automatic reflected into my component okay i already discussed about two files that is html and javascript now it's time to learn like css so how we can check the css okay uh, once you change something in your file right i already added this css file here once you change your file again you have to do one thing again restart your server so how we can restart our server very simple very easy just open the terminal under the terminal under here you have to use let me clear it this one all the things and now let me run this command like a sf lightning dev app and it's open the uh, you know our local environment in the browser window so here just now you can see welcome to local dev server it's a red color if you change something let's say i want to change something here uh, let's say background color like a yellow or green something like that let me save this let me save this now immediately you can see the changes automatic reflect into this environment but let me tell you one thing uh, these all changes is locally local preview but these all changes not reflect into your actual org if you need that uh, your changes uh, comes into the your actual org you have to deploy your you know changes into the your org so how to deploy it because here if you see this is the actual org and this component is not reflected automatically because of we are using local dev and local dev have these changes 
but actual org don't have any changes so how we can deploy these all changes very simple just you can use right click and deploy to source to org or i can use like asap okay project deploy start command and after that uh, these changes automatic reflect to do uh, from your local dev to your actual org so let me refresh this page and let's see if the changes is coming or not so after that you can see our changes is coming here so it means if you need like uh, you are satisfied about these changes like uh, i'm good with these changes and my component working fine so now you can uh, deploy your uh, you know uh, local changes into the actual org so that is the benefit of local dev no need worry about like every time you have to deploy or something like that right and uh, this is the style you can use anything as you want it's up to you but uh, for your better understanding power that's why i discussed about these three files like js file html file and css file